Hello. Germinating seeds indoors has several advantages. Firstly, if you're using seeds from a packet that has a sow-by date that you've passed or from a packet that was opened in a previous growing year and your seeds don't germinate, it's time to get some fresh seeds. If your seeds do germinate, they're viable and you've got a head start on the growing season. Also, you can sow what's left in the packet with confidence. Now let's take a look at some seeds I started a few weeks ago and see what we can conclude. All these seeds were sown at the same time, indoors, in these yoghurt pots, indoors where I could control the temperature and control the moisture. This is a leek called Musselbra. That's Musselbra. I think there's probably enough leeks in there for me this year. I don't have a very big garden so I don't need a lot but if there aren't enough leeks in there for me this year then I have some good gardening friends that will help me out or I could start some more seeds. So that's Musselbra. So we're happy with that. We're happy with that level of germination. This is an onion called Elsa Craig. I think there's probably about 20 seedlings in there. I don't know if you can tell that. Uh, and that might be enough for me. It might not. And if it isn't, just the same as the leeks. I've got some good friends that are gardeners. Uh, they might help me out. Uh, but in any case, I might supplement these, these onions with some onion sets. Um, so we're reasonably happy with those. This is a disaster. Zebra and shallots. Absolutely no germination at all. None at all. So what can we conclude from this? Well, the seeds that came out of that packet are viable. So the leek seeds that I've got are viable. So if I wanted to sow some more from that packet, I could do that uh, with confidence. The onions. If I wanted so, to sow some more of these Elsa Craig from that packet, I could do that with confidence. This zebra and shallots, I had no confidence. Why would I have confidence that I could sow some seeds out of that packet and they would germinate? They haven't germinated indoors and they've had as much opportunity as the leeks and the onions. So what can we conclude? Well, to summarise, these seeds are viable, we could grow these if we wanted to, more of these. These seeds are viable, we could grow these, more of these if we wanted to. These seeds are not viable. We can't grow any of those if there are any seeds left. So if we're going to grow zebra and shallots, we'll need to buy some fresh seed. Or will we? I have some seed left. And I think we'll conduct a little trial before we actually decide that the seeds that we've got that are left in this packet are not viable. And then we have a decision to make, don't we? If we want to grow shallots, zebra and shallots, we'll have to buy some fresh seed. Or again, <laughs> rely on my gardening friends to perhaps find me some seedlings. But we're going to conduct that trial. Right, let me set that trial up for you. So, what we're going to do now is a final viability test on some of the remaining seeds in this packet. Okay. We'll just pop a few on this tissue. And then what we're going to do, we're going to pick them up individually and we're going to place them on this tissue which is a damp tissue, it's wet and then we're going to keep them indoors where it's warm on this moist tissue 
have another couple of weeks and see what we get. And if we don't get anything, the conclusion would be, put a few more on, the conclusion would be that these seeds are not viable. Okay, if they germinate, if they do germinate, I'll show you them. There'll be a video up in another couple of weeks and it will show you germinated seeds and we'll plant them on. Now then, if you don't see another video in a couple of weeks time, that's because these seeds have not germinated. Okay, we'll just put another little drop of water on that tissue. Now, this is so easy. By the way, you need a matchstick for this. This cup of tea is optional. Cup of tea is optional, but you do need your matchstick to be wet. Watch how easy this is. <laughs> you probably can't see that. I don't know if you can. One seed on that tissue. I don't know if you're getting this, it's, it's the very small. Right, here's some music. The next time I speak, all these seeds will be on that tissue. Well, that didn't take long, did it? That didn't take long. Okay, a final moist. And hopefully I'll be putting up another video in a couple of weeks time shows these germinated and them being moved up. If there's no video, they haven't germinated. We need some new fresh seeds. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed this video. I've enjoyed making it. And I'm enjoying that cup of tea now. This is homegrown veg. Signing out.